So Peter Fulyun, we are here at uh, BB Nissan in Cineville and the Nissan Navara is the reason that brought <laughs> us here this morning. I was lucky enough to be on the media launch of this car about a week or two yep. ago and uh, I had to bring you and show you why I was smiling so much. Well, I mean, you can see the <laughs> smile that I got on my face. Listen, your first impression when you saw this, Pete? Wow, you know, funny, I, I am a b huge fan of big trucks. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's one of the things that I regret about being South African is that we don't get proper big, big trucks. trucks in this country. But man, this looks like a big truck. It just gives me that feel yes. of a big truck. And I think that Nissan have done an amazing job on the design of this bucky. Especially, especially with this front end. Yeah, it just is you know, imposing. It's I, imperious. I, I, I agree with you. It really does have that very aggressive, big looking truck feel to it. I agree with you. Listen, take us through the very impressive front grille and front side of this bucky. There's a couple of extras we need to say. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so this is an extra bonnet protector here. This nudge bar is, is extra, so this is not standard. But let's talk about this nudge bar yeah. because there's, you know, there's nudge bars and then there's nudge bars. Very nice. Most nudge bars are actually just bolted on underneath. Correct. This actually is bolted into the chassis itself. This is probably one of the most impressive parts about the front side of this bucky. <laughs> This is LED project projector beams. Yeah, LED projector beams, so your low beams are at the bottom. Yeah. And then high beam is with all four of them on, so. Okay, and then your LED daytime running lights. Uh, again, very distinctively Nissan. Very yep. nice, I like that. So this is not the standard alloy wheels, but no. these are Nissan approved. Yep, and it's important that they've got to be Nissan approved. Yes. Because tires and rims get homologated with a vehicle. Yes. And there's specific reasons for that, because the weight of the alloy and the tire yeah. impacts the harmonics of the suspension and the handling. Agreed. Very nice, aggressive looking from the back as well. This detail, this embossed Navara logo in the back here is, is it's something small, but it makes a huge impression on me. And while we're here at the tow hitch, let's make mention of the fact that this does have a three and a half ton towing capacity Which as is well. Silly, actually. The first noticeable difference for me when I got into this car was the smaller designed and, and new design steering wheel. So that made a, a nice impression and it feels very nice in, in your hands. Um, all the normal stuff that we would expect, and I think, you know, let's, let's discuss it and unpack it quickly. Uh, cruise control. Normal mm -hmm. standard, we've, we, we got used to that. Your on steering wheel controls for uh, your infotainment system and for information, driver information, that's normal. This is probably, what is that, a seven inch display? Yeah, front wheel. a little seven inch TFT display. But I mean, that's premium if yep. you think about it. You know, it's, it's not normal in a, in a bucky. One thing that, that impressed me a lot was the, the seven speed automatic gearbox. Very, very smooth. This doesn't necessarily have more power, sort of the sort of the same. It has of, the uh, same power, but it, but the range of power is, is is better. So, so there is definitely an upgraded drive as well. Maybe my only criticism would be that the storage compartments are a little bit on the small side for a, a vehicle of this size. So both the center. I've seen, I've seen a little bit bigger. Yes. Yeah, center box over here as well as this cubby hole is very very small. I hear you. Okay, so um, I think let's get into the back seat quickly. Okay, let's do that. So, so this is the one thing that I think all of the manufacturers could definitely, and I don't understand why. Who are they catering for? This is a double cab supposed to be for four people to comfortably drive in this. So this is something that's a little bit of a negative for me. Well, I suppose if you put two adults in the rear, yeah, you, your comment is valid, but most times when you're operating your vehicle, it's it's the two parents with the kids in the rear, and I think with kids it'll be fine. Yeah. One of the things that is different with this is the raised seating position, so that whoever is sitting in the rear isn't blocked off behind yes. your headrests. You do have the ability to have a nice clear vision. So I think a bit of a compromise at the end of the day, and if you look at the usage, is predominantly children in the rear. I think it's okay. So. Uh, air vents at the back which is nice you've got usb uh, socket at the back here and something that we didn't mention is the usb-c 
um, which you know all the new phones are moving to USB-C so there's a USB-C port in this uh, center console as well so um, Pete I've had the opportunity to drive this vehicle on road off-road everywhere I think uh, it's time that you actually have a chance oh, to drive this. I can't wait let's go let's go so Fanny before we drive off I've got a question for you yeah are you comfortable in your seating position I am very comfortable let me tell you something interesting about the seats in the new Navara that okay. perhaps you did not know. Okay. <laughs> so these seats, the design was actually inspired by uh, design applications on zero gravity seats for astronauts. What? Yeah. So obviously as an astronaut, you don't want the astronaut to fatigue on long journeys between yes. takeoff and then eventually getting to the space station, which can take up to two days, by the yeah. way. Yeah. So they created what's called a neutral posture design in this seat. And amazing. it's therefore designed to reduce fatigue on long distance driving. How's that? That is amazing. It's cool, eh? But let's go for a drive, man. Absolutely. I'm just going to reverse out here, seeing as we've got this beautiful reverse camera. That's nice and high definition, by the way, it which is. a lot of them aren't. And I enjoy the predictive sort of lines uh, I don't like the, you know, the stationary well, lines. Static, so, yeah. yeah. So, um, like I said, I've had the privilege of driving this on and off-road, so I'm very, very interested to hear your first thoughts because you've got a very high expectation. I do have a high, a high expectation, but I've got to say that already I feel like I'm in a big vehicle, nice long bonnet. Yes. The seats are genuinely comfortable, so I've got to say they've done a fantastic job on that. Okay, so taking off from that robot, How's that power delivery? I mean, for a turbo diesel, you, you typically would expect a bit of lag. It wasn't too bad at all. Uh, and in fact, once, once the revs got up, it, it really started to get going quickly. Yes. The engine, surprisingly, is nice and quiet as well. And I think they, they, they did mention that there's a little bit of work that went into the isolation of the cab. So uh, it is definitely, and that's why I asked you the question with regards to noise. Yeah. Um, it is quieter in here. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely quiet inside the cabin. There's very little ingression of noise from the engine bay. I'm particularly impressed with the, the lack of road noise that we're picking up, considering that we've got all-terrain tires on the vehicle yep. as well. So, yeah, very impressive. So, we spoke about the upgraded suspension on our walk-around outside the car. Now that we're inside the car, I think this is, this is one of the, the big things that, that they've got right here. We are not without a load at the moment so the car is unladen is that the correct am i speaking proper queen's english now you are and look at we've just gone over a few speed bumps yes <clears throat> the vehicle's unladen yes. normally that's when it's at its most bone jarringly hard ride correct and it's silky smooth and yeah. soft you you were at the launch and you had the the opportunity to take the, the navarro off-road what, what was it exactly. like off-road so so we um there around the Arte Beersport Dam area, we went up a mountain, okay? Very, very rocky and, and very technical in some places. So I can honestly say that this vehicle is really capable off-road. Um, and, and also the dirt road handling when, you know, I had the opportunity to actually go on a game drive with the car. <laughs> so we went on a game drive and this is unbelievable off-road. Um, one thing again that, that they got right with the design here is your approach and your departure angles. I don't know if you saw that when we were outside the car. Mm -hmm. um, very aggressive and we had no issues going up. Very technical stuff with a stock standard Navara. Nothing added to that Bucky and uh, I was super impressed. Okay, so we're driving back into the dealership and I think it's an important time to mention this. If you are interested in a new Navara, you better wake up, okay, and get down to your nearest BB Nissan dealership because there's already, we spoke to Andre Lemme here, Pete, what did he say about the waiting list? Yeah, he said he's already got a back order of 45 orders on the Navarro. So, I mean, that talks a lot to the demand that's on the vehicle and I think the market acceptance is yes. there on the vehicle. So. I expect lots of sales out of this. It's going to be interesting to see how the Navarro competes against its traditional rivals. Yeah, and, and something that we didn't mention is that there's now a single cab version available of the Navarro and I think that might help with uh, competing against the volumes that we've seen, you know, versus Toyota and Ford, let's mention them. 
Um, so I think we, we need to keep an eye out on that. It's going to be interesting and I just hope that Nissan have had the courage of their conviction to order lots of stock of this because I think they're going to be seriously surprised by the sales. So Mr. Fuyun, I've only got one question for you. Are you smiling? I am smiling. Why? Because this vehicle is awesome. <laughs> In a nutshell. Okay, so um, final thoughts on the vehicle, the drive, and then we have to give it a rating. Mm. Okay, and I've got a very sneaky suspicion we're going to get <laughs> a, a very good rating here. So final thoughts, Pete? I think that Nissan have put together an outstanding package here, especially if you consider the pricing relative to its competitors. Think about this, yes. top of the range, nearing 750,000 Rand, yeah. compared to, and it's a brand new model, compared to aged models yeah. that are nudging a million Rand, I think this is a, a winning package. I agree. This LE that we, that we test drove today is not the top of the range. Yep. The, the Pro 4, Pro 2X and Pro 4X buckies with all the you know, bells and whistles, that's, that's the top of the range. But Pete, this LE is sweet stunning. spot. Sweet spot. It's absolutely stunning. All right. Okay, so I'll start off and give you my rating. I was looking forward to this. I'm a, a ex Nissan guy. This is where I started with Nissan in the motor industry, so that they will always be close to my heart. My rating out of ten for this. Should, should I say ten out of ten? Why not? In its segment, in its segment, why not? I'm going to give it a ten out of ten. I'm very, very impressed with this. And uh, the other question that we normally ask is, would we buy one? I would definitely, definitely buy one. Well, I, I mean, I, I think I can echo exactly what your sentiments are. For me, it's a 10 out of 10. They've done a fantastic job. The pricing is superb, considering where, what the RAND has yes. done and the fluctuations. So I think Nissan have been very brave in terms of pricing it where they have. It ticks all the boxes for me. I, I would also give it a 10 out of 10 because I do believe it's the best bucky in the market at the moment. And I would absolutely buy one if I was in the market. On that bombshell, that's it from us and our review on the Nissan Navara from us at Let's Look Automotive. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers, everyone.